Check, check. Check. I can hear you. Great. Seems, seems like you're getting this down. Check no, me again. No fussing, give me another. No mussing, no back talking. Oh, Got to be him anyway. Going to boost you just a little bit. You should be good. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll tweak as we go. Okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it time for intro? Yeah, I think uh, it's been a while actually, hasn't it? Has been a while. It's been a month. Somebody asked me last time we had one, and I'm like, "Was it Wolf's Hollow?" Wolf's Hollow. It's a while ago. It was what? Yeah, because we we did our Super Bowl produ- uh, predictions. Yeah, which I was completely off. Yeah, we were all off. <laughs> Every single one of us. <laughs> can, Nobody saw that coming. Can, can we get rid of that one so nobody ever knows <laughs> we're, we're totally wrong on the yeah. prediction? <laughs> Let's, nobody taped it, so I mean, if we just make it disappear, you know, we'll just we'll, we'll double. Oh, no. we'll just pour some coffee on that. What I'll do is I'll take down the old one. We'll do this one, but what I'll do is I'll uh, Wait, we'll I'll back have... talk. We'll like back late date it. So yeah. We're like, <laughs> well, no, I'm oh, just yeah, gonna predict that Tom I'm... Brady is gonna win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna dub. I'm gonna dub Ben in too. So like we're gonna we're gonna do redo productions, but we're gonna make Ben play the role of uh, Jordan. Oh yeah, so we can we can do it like a fake. Yeah, so I'll just yeah. put that over the top of our, our our real predictions with our fake predictions. So when we go, we can start this one and be like, "See, we told you." Oh man, perfect. Like a little geniuses. back of future action. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start the intro. Yeah, it is kind of loud. That is, uh, it is. You awesome. can turn it down. It's almost awesome, all brothers. But <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pete. If you listen to this, that I turned it down on you. Well, you sound good right there. What's up? You sound a lot better. Like, well, I lean closer to the mic because yeah. I was. Just, I notice this room will echo a lot a if, bit, you're not, yeah. if you're not up close to it. All right. So in this week's episode, this is our 20th episode. This is like a milestone for us. We, I actually planned on uh, doing video. Uh, f- maybe we should do pizza and wings. Yeah, maybe we should do pizza and wings from now on. Um, by the way, uh, we did have some uh, change-ups in, in, in our, our venue. Dave, thank you so much for hosting us. And, and uh, Jen, too. I mean, she did... Uh, great job with the yeah, great I really appreciate time. that. Thanks yeah. for trashing our house. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for, for cooking all the food. <laughs> no problem. All right. Well, in this episode, uh, we're actually going to pair cigars with beer, and we have a special guest, somebody who's been on the show before, who's quickly become a friend of the show, uh, Ben. And he's uh, he's actually produced the cigars this week because I, I I had a, a little bit of a miss up uh, mishap. A snafu? Would yeah, you do for that? <laughs> a little snafu. Yeah. You know, these things happen. It's, it's, you know, as a group, as a collective, we all made a big mistake, and I take no responsibility. That's fine. No I'm just I. kidding. That's 100% my fault. <laughs> I made a big mistake. But you will learn all about that coming up in the next few seconds. The Capital Brew Podcast with 20 North Dave and Nick Lee. What's brewing in the 518? Ben, thank you so much for uh, bailing me out of trouble this week. Thank you for the, uh, the cigars. and Doing all you. the legwork. Yes. Um, leaving the doghouse, uh, you know, leaving uh, them to fend for themselves and coming down here and do this podcast for us. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they don't go down. We'll, we'll see. Uh, no, I'm sure they're fine. No, yeah. I'm happy, happy to do it. Happy to be here. Um, uh, happy to have cigars. Awesome, awesome. Uh, quick question: I was there obviously uh, last week or so, um, and again last time we were at his place, we were talking about how what how. The, the staff is such a huge plays such a huge role in the, in the success of the of the business and both of you guys have great staffs at your place uh, Sean who's the first guy I ever met that worked there um, and it was a Dan was a Dan I was talking to last last week uh, probably John John probably I'm horrible with names yeah John definitely John so just was gonna say yeah everybody I've ever met there we went down there we still got the Mr Miyagi hot dog going. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I've been dying to get back over there for that. Do it soon. I can't imagine this. It in, ends uh, this month. This month. Wait, this month is in February, no, like no. right before the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I predict that the uh, nobody's going to guess. Nobody. Everyone's going to tell me I'm crazy, but just call me crazy. I think Tom Brady still got it. I think he might yep. squeak us out another ring. Yep. <laughs> I would never pick the. The Kansas City Chiefs. Mm. Yeah, they did absolutely nothing in that Super Bowl. <laughs> no. All they right. Terrible. So yeah, a little bit of a snafu. I thought uh, I thought I was talking to one person. I was talking to another person. A guy who, who slings hot dogs and and does a very good job at it. Has an awesome bar in, in, in Clifton Park. Then with the dog house, uh, I texted him thinking he was a, another contact of ours that owned a cigar shop. And I was like, yeah, man, you you get some cigars and we'll bring over the beer and we'll pair cigars with beer. It's going to be a great show. And Ben's like, yeah, it's a great idea. Let's do it. <laughs> It was a great idea. Thank you. Yeah. Although, and I was like, oh, so how do you want to do this? And you just were like, what? why do you not know what I'm talking about? I was like, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm just... Yeah, didn't we already talk about this? 
You know, uh, sorry, I just, apparently I was not paying attention. Oh, I just noticed this. It's a wolf's hollow glass. Don't tell him I stole that. Oh, Lord. Jesus. <laughs> Why, you just did? <laughs> My God. Was that there when we were there? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've had that for a while. I'm just joking around. So we got... those, if those guys are listening, maybe they laugh at the joke, <laughs> yeah. but so, I, I mean, doubt it. Do you, well, I mean, if, when people steal glasses from your place, how do you feel? It happens all the time. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I'm over it. Yeah. So uh, we were there last uh, last month when we did our last podcast and Dave walks in first things that came out of his our first words out of his mouth is huh, first time I've ever been here this is really nice really I forget how busy you are when you're running a bar yeah it's you know you know the times where you normally go to a place like that you're usually working right? yeah or when you're not working you got something else going on yeah I, I see like when I go to the dog house and I go to Wolf's Hollow when I go to Paradox uh, I just pretend that i'm working i'm, I'm doing research I'm, i probably should do that maybe i could write it off tax wise you know probably that, should have thought about that 13 years ago oh yes that's what it's i'm probably a little late now that's where my thought process is actually how many write outs you can have yes <laughs> so there's a you know they made it so it's not even worth it really to do it anymore yeah i don't know but i like it all right, so yep, enough depressing talks about taxes and such. Yes, well, let's talk about cigars. Something more so, exciting. So I'm actually really surprised that um, that this hasn't really been a topic that's been brought up, and, and obviously we talked about it on our live, last podcast with the with the uh, with the doghouse, um, and you being so close, or the doghouse being in Clifton Park. There's a great cigar shop that I've been going to for years. I lived in Clifton Park. It was a great shop uh, to to go to. They always had like uh, I'm a big. Uh, Helix fan, so they always had Helix cars, which are kind of hard to find. And I'm also a big um, Drew Estates, anything Drew Estates, so like uh, the Acid Cigar line or the Del Sol Cigar line, I'm a big fan of. And they always seem to have that kind of stuff there. So the guys over there, uh, Park and Lane, um, helped you out, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, you, you put me on the gun, you put me on the pressure and said, hey, can you bring some cigars <laughs> yeah. and pair them with beer? And I was like, oh, wow, does this guy think I own a cigar shop? And I was like, all right. So I went over to Park Lane. I, I just walked right in and said, yeah, I got this. Uh, I need to pair beer with cigars. And they're like, oh, my God, that's a fantastic idea. And I was like, uh, yeah, it is. And so Danielle was there. She helped me out. She just, you know, I would talk about little flavor profiles that would be there. She's like, oh, that would be this one. That would be, you know. And we'll get into whatever the cigars are in a few minutes, I'm sure. But she knew exactly where to take me. Uh, and it's surprising how much knowledge she had to how to pair it with beer that this is not a thing. Yeah. And a really good job. I mean, I'm just looking at this, uh, some of the, the notes here that you have put together. And speaking of which, I was texting Dave earlier. I was like, Dave, I made a big mistake. He's like, ah, don't worry about it. Don't kill yourself. We'll do it another time. I was like, you don't understand. Like... Ben did a lot of homework, and this has got to happen. To you know, it's got to have this happen. There's no way that we're letting this all this hard work go to nothing. You did a great job. Uh, thanks. No, it was really yeah, exactly. It was a test, and you passed. Yes. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's what we perfect. did. Let's That's see fail. if we can throw That's this fail. at him, and he can <laughs> handle it. Yes, yeah, so if he can handle Hopefully. this, he can handle anything. So, you want, yep, you passed. Yep. Perfect. I don't remember the show. Actually, we were, we Thanks really didn't so want to do a show tonight. We just tried to make it impossible to do one, but you actually came through. Yeah. So now we're stuck with it. Yeah. Gotcha. It's got to happen. <laughs> now, now we're stuck. <laughs> so, yeah, tell us about some of these cigars. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, you know, and so, you know, depending on what we're drinking here. Do we each have a third, like a different, we each have a different cigar? Yes. So everybody has a different cigar. Okay. Everybody has a different alcohol, a beer, excuse me, to go with that cigar. Was, was, which beer should I have to go with my cigar? You're should doing a, a Wolf's wolf? Hollow. Okay, I got to go in the fridge. And yeah, one. Okay, Tiny Tartan. One. Maybe I can have, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll go get one. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you do go, I have a, I actually have a beer from a pretty popular brewery. Who I cannot remember where they're from, but it's called the Rabbit Duck, and it's a porter. So I'll be drinking a porter. All right, when I go when I go over there, I'll grab it. And then we're gonna quickly, briefly talk about a beer that I recently discovered out at Paradox that is delicious, and I love that label. Actually, so much so that I bought a T-shirt that has that on there. But it's called the Booch Tronic. It's a New England style uh, IPA. Oh, how how. How original. I know. <laughs> but it actually, believe it or not, for its flavor Okay, I'm profile, sorry to everyone. I know. A little, that, was a little, that was uncalled for. <laughs> but as, as, as for a flavor profile, as, as a New England-style IPA, that's actually, it's really good. 
and it's kind of mellow. It's not so bitey, to me at least. And I'm actually, I, he had the turn towards me. I had no idea that it was eight. I don't think that's eight, is okay, it? Okay, six. Yeah. Six point. I was a little, I was like, wow, that's 8.3? Eight? Eight that's six. Six point, six six point three. three. So it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. It's not too much. I like it a lot. It looks like the robot that like Cartman was in uh, in the episode where he was the robot, you know, yeah. friends with butters. I was thinking it reminded me of something like a Beastie Boys. Okay. I, I was, it looks like the uh, the mural that they did under the Troy Bridge over there. Oh, yeah. The little robots uh, looking like cities. And you know, this is completely different than their art uh, It's style. definitely out of their wheelhouse. Yeah. They're very uh, not into the, um, I guess, trends of beer that, you know, they don't usually follow that. This is So this is surprising to see from them. Uh, Devin the head brewer I talked to a lot, and and I, he didn't even mention this one yet, so I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited to talk to him about it next time I see him. Yeah, well, I'm excited for you to try it. All right. All right. Well, so should I go get some beers? Yeah, let's do it. I'm procrastinating. Okay, hold on. All right. Back on the air. Ooh. That's such a beautiful sound. Um, You want to start with the top one? Basically, that must be the one I have. Let's talk about the cigars. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So that's you. You got you got the uh, the house cigar. From How do you say Parton it? Lane. I think it said Bana Bonacisti. Bonacisti. Yeah. yeah, I would say Bonacisti. Bonacisti. It looks like it says here's the closest thing to a Cuban you can buy locally, and it's great with whiskey and bourbon. I'm a big bourbon drinker. Bourbon is whiskey, so that's kind of yeah. on it. But anyway, I'm, once again, I'm being harsh. There you go. Uh, I'm not a big cigar smoker, so I might not be the best. Uh, that's fine. Sounding board. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> well, if uh, it, maybe your pairing is so good that you actually become a cigar smoker. Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> Anything's possible. All right. And what are we? Uh, what and are, we're gonna. And what do I got? I got the Wolf's Hollow, the Tiny Tartan Scottish yeah. Wee Heavy, yeah. which I've had before. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, we we we, uh, we spent we, half the half yeah. the uh, podcast at Wolf's Hollow saying you saying uh, so. Are we drinking that now? Yeah. So <laughs> right I now, guess we, we don't have to go just, over that again. That? Yeah. I guess I'm twice spoiled on that one. <laughs> Well, I find uh, the, the, the the secret key to a good podcast is keep the co-host happy. So keep giving him the beers that he likes. So I bought your Roth House. As, as yes, as soon as I finish this delicious Bud Light, I'm getting <laughs> right into it. To the to the to the Roth House, which is uh, our we always have that uh, resting beer that 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 what do we call table beer? Yeah, I guess would be the best way to put it's it. A, it's a have. fine pilsner. Yes, yes, it is a very very fine pilsner. Um, and so, what are we pairing with your IPA? All right, so with the IPA, we, that we already talked about the Boom Chang or whatever it is. Yeah, the Booch Tronic. Booch Tronic, yep. Uh, we're pairing the Macanudo Inspirado Black. I I am jealous. Uh, yeah, I uh, you know again, and Danielle really kind of guided me towards this, uh, but apparently it's you know we were trying to think, okay, what goes with hops? What goes a little juicy? You want to do a compare or contrast? I always had Dave in my head the whole time. While I was there, <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, Dave's gonna like say compare or contrast, yep. and I gotta be ready. Yes, um, you know. And so with that in mind, I was like, okay, we talked, and Danielle was like, I, I think I know Dave. He wants you to get this one. I was like, okay, so <laughs> it's got richness, complexity. Um, it's got dark chocolate coffee notes, and I, and I feel like maybe even a little black pepper for some reason. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's great. I'm a big Macanudo fan. Um, I like uh, – they have their white series and they have the, the red series, both great cigars. Yeah, and the red series, they said, is like the strongest. Yeah. And so I was like, well, let's just do one down with that's the actually, black. That's actually – that's the one I like to drink. Like with a, like bullet bourbon, is, it tends to be my, my yeah. go-to bourbon. Um, so I like to, to smoke a, uh, the red Macanudo, the the red series with with that uh, bullet bourbon. Um, I'm also getting spoiled, and I know you're not a big cigar smoker. I think out of the three of us, I've got the best cigar, and it actually it might even be better than that Romeo and Juliet that we have over there. Um, it's the Olivia. Um, the Olivia is a is you know they produce a great. Uh, a great stick, great cigar. And we're pairing that with this this duck rabbit. This duck rabbit porter is probably the only, is definitely the only beer that we have here that's not local, um, but it is a pretty good uh, porter from Duck Rabbit uh, Craft Brewery in Farmville, North Carolina. If you ever have the opportunity to be in that part of the world, definitely hit them up. They're uh, the masters of making dark beers. All right. So we're gonna obviously we can't smoke in here. We're we gonna go outside. I'm and sorry, go? you know it's just yeah. I don't no, think that's about fine. cigar smoke inside. That's fine. That's all right. Yeah, but, uh, there's we have two choice or three choices: the front porch, back porch, or I don't don't think it matters where we go. Or the you know the 
garage. I was going to say we can go on the front porch or back porch, check out the lake real quick in the dark, and then Whatever you go do. out. But then we can't go to the house with the cigar. Probably not. No. So you might as well so just go to the garage. We're, we're, wherever we decide, and we're committed if you want to smoke it, the whole thing. If you don't want to smoke the whole thing, you want to put it out. Then yeah, we're not going to smoke it. the whole thing. But we'll do. You no, know, I did have an ashtray. I thought I brought it out here. There it is. Yeah. It's got some stuff on it. Yeah, yeah. And this might be a short a short, um, a short podcast. That's, that's There's no sin in, in having a shorter than normal podcast. We'll, we'll get to business. We'll smoke these cigars. We'll t- drink some beer. And then we'll, uh, we'll talk what about What do you think the parents. best way to do is to leave this running? No, I'll actually, I'll probably pause it. I'll pause it. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know how to do that? Is I've never pu- done it, and I'm, that's you, you, you've put the fear of God in me now. Yeah, see. It does You're not welcome. look like there's a pause button on that thing. There isn't, and this thing is so temperamental. I've learned how to caress it perfectly just so that I can get these out every week. Uh, our first like handful of podcasts were just nightmares. Um, but no, I'm gonna pause it. I, I, I'm confident in my ability. I'm fine with that. All right, let's do it. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's do it. All right, we'll be back in a few seconds. Is it recording already? Yeah, we're recording. no way it worked. Yeah, it worked. Well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> there, see it. All right, all right. <laughs> so I was just asking uh, Ben. I was like, I uh, said, so you listen to podcasts? I was like, yeah. He's like, what do you think? He's like, oh, it was good. The, the one we did with him, he told me they had a couple of guys that came in and and uh, said that they had been following us. Really? Yeah, we're growing that fan base. Two people. Yeah. Well, wow. It's two moving people. up in the world. It's two more than. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one one of the uh, high I just saw today one of the higher ups or one of the partners for the whole doghouse franchise is actually following you guys on Instagram now. Oh, that's awesome! I think yeah, I think I've seen yeah. that. Yep, I saw that today. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That he's following you guys. Yeah, I like it. I I, I can't, well, thank you so much for doing the podcast. Thanks for you know. Yes, thanks, thanks for, for buying those cigars. Yes, thanks for buying Absolutely. those cigars. But thanks for you know. Uh, hopefully we help each other. Hopefully there's a lot of synergy between uh, our guests and, and the actual podcast. And as we grow, hopefully they grow too. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we've finished these cigars. We're back. We're recording. There were no technical difficulties. I should stop jinxing myself. My nose yeah, is running. exactly. Um, but let's start with your Scotch Ale and your house cigar. Um, I gotta say, and especially not being a cigar aficionado like you guys, the cigar was pretty mellow. Yeah. Um, I like you know, I've smoked cigars, obviously cigars in, in the past. Yeah. I've generally found them to be very harsh. You know, it's not something I would do on a regular. But I have to say that that cigar was very, very mild as cigars go. It tasted good, you know, without being, like, harsh. Yeah. Now, I will say comparing it, like, or or I should say pairing it with the Wolf's Hollow uh, Wee Heavy, I would say that the Wee Heavy was probably a, a Wee Heavy for that cigar. Yeah. Like, like has a little bit too much, like a sugary. And that's another thing to point out too is that well, too much sweetness for yeah. a pretty mild cigar. Yeah. And as I was telling you guys out there, I'd say I probably would. I would probably like go down to like a bass ale, something yeah. not so, not so like on the on that really heavy side of an ale. Yeah, yeah. Something like a bass, or as I said before, like a Smittix. Yes, yeah, Smittix is something a little more mellow yeah. to to actually instead of contrasting, you are like complimenting. Yeah, yeah. But here's another thing too is that um, another thing we got to take into consideration it's a Wolf's Hollow we heavy uh, Scottish ale. So if I mean if everybody made beers the same, why would why would you go get beer from anywhere else, right? So right. they have their own little twist. Maybe this is a really good cigar with most Scotch cigars. This one's just a little bit sweeter. Maybe that's the point too. Maybe some people who are looking for, for a, sweet, a sweeter, yeah, you know, it's perfect to, for to, to offset a mild cigar. They want something sweeter, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And next, we had your IPA, the uh, Boochtronic, with your uh, your your Macanudo. Absolutely, yeah. I thought it was a good pairing. I thought the Boochtronic had some some hazy, juicy um, grapefruit notes. Uh, not too hoppy at all, actually. Uh, the the Macanudo uh, definitely got the coffee, the nuts. Uh, I really felt like black pepper. Uh, one note I would say is that I think in the Early stages of the the drinking and the sm- cigar smoking, perfect pairing. As I smoked the cigar, I got a lot stronger, um, and it made the pairing a little bit, you know, it almost overpowered the IPA. Yeah. Um, but, you know, who's complaining? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, first of all, Danielle, let's talk about Danielle over at Park and Lane. How awesome is her energy? Absolutely. And her knowledge base. Yeah. No, she was great. She literally knew where to guide me. She, you know, I, hey, you know, let's talk about this tasting notes for, you know, what would this go well with? And she was available all throughout the day. I even called her. I was like, hey, what about this uh, beer? What about this uh, cigar? And she's like, let me, let me email you some tasting notes on this one cigar. Uh, because I couldn't find enough information about it. That was actually their house blend. Yeah. And she she just was available. She was concerned. She cared about the craft of cigars. Uh, she even, you know, mentioned, please make sure you V-cut these. Yes. Uh, and I said, okay, uh, what's that? <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, let me show you. Yes. Actually, I have, I, like I said before we started the podcast, uh, the way that I like to cut my cigars, I have a punch, which basically cuts a whole perfect circle in the, in, the, in the end of the cigar, which I do probably 60% of the time, and the rest of the time is a V-cut. So it's a, it's a basically, it looks like your regular cigar clip, uh, cutter, except instead of having one flat blade to go across, it's got a V-blade, and it has a perfect little spot to put your cigar into and clip right a V, a perfect V-shape into it. So it's the V instead of like the guillotine. Exactly. exactly. That's a good way to put it. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so, with that being said, she didn't point you wrong when it came to my uh, Olivia cigar here that I smoked with my uh, my. This is not the beer I was drinking. I was drinking a, a duck, uh, the duck rabbit uh, porter. Uh, again, they specialize in making dark beers, and I think that my cigar was a perfect complimentary. Though I was expecting more of a complimentary, a little bit more of the uh, coffee flavors uh, with the. Uh, I believe this it was a, a sun grown wrap on my cigar. Um, so a little bit more natural like flavors. I was expecting earthier tones, but it actually came out. It was earthy, but it's kind of flowery, like floral. There was a lot of floral flavors that came out, and it kind of cut on the uh, on that coffee caramelly taste that you would expect to get from like a porter. So uh, I thought it was really. I thought it was a good compliment, or not compliment, maybe a contrast. It's just weird. It kind of changed changed the flavor of the beer, and it for the best. It was a good. It was a good, very good pairing. Yeah, you were definitely saying that you were surprised, like you know, with the porter taste, and then just smoking that that floral taste. Just you weren't expecting it. Yeah, for sure. And you know, who knows? And I think I think you know, continuing to pair different cigars with with beer. You know, obviously, just like beer, cigars have so many different depths of flavors that you know I wasn't even aware of until really you know I've had a cigar, I enjoy them, you know. For occasions, yep. uh, but you know, went over to Park Lane and Clifton Park, and yeah, they they definitely had knowledge that I just wasn't even aware I was lacking. Yeah. Well, I would like to say that uh, this was definitely a fun experience. I'm looking, f- I want to do it again at some point uh, in the future. Uh, I want to go actually to Park and Lane, and then we also have a buddy in uh, in Schenectady, Omar. Omar. So we want to sit with him. There's, uh, thank God, to there's, Omar. yeah, to Omar. <laughs> um, Thank God there's lots of beers out there. There are a lot of cigars. So there's a lot of pairings that can be done. We'll definitely do that again in the future. Sure, we can give him more than a day. Yes. Oh, for sure. <laughs> right. We can. He can come on anytime he wants. Um, what, and then some other stuff I really wanted to talk about uh, before we do. I know it's a short podcast, uh, but uh, you know uh, we are we are losing the Mr. Miyagi uh, hot dog. Do you have any inside information on what we can expect to replace it? Uh, yeah, so I don't have the next dog house focus. We're kind of with Sam the cooking guy. We have um, some ghost kitchens that we do that he made a, uh, a breakfast burrito with that we do. Uh, I've seen those on Instagram. Those yeah, look delicious. They're super delicious. Uh, best secret we have. I don't know why it's a secret. <laughs> uh, and then uh, one that we haven't even released yet or just came out like today. And it's a uh, Hong Kong clucka. Okay, so uh, chicken. Which is like chicken with peanut sauce and okay. sesame and, and chili powder. It almost sounds Thai. Yeah, I thought so too. I was like, Hong Kong? I don't know why that's called. Like, yeah. I felt like it was Thai too. Yeah. Like, but whatever. Yeah, man. I didn't name it. We got to see. We got to do another episode. There's so many places we got to go to, but there's so many places that we like to go to. I can't wait to uh, uh, go to the doghouse again. I think, and thank you, and I look forward to the visit. I think we're missing out on talking about the wings that Dave oh, made. Yes. Uh, and... You know, Dave, and if it's okay with you, I'm just going to just throw this out there. Dave made a hot and a mild, and we all ate the mild. The hot came out next, and we're all like, let's take all the mild out, put it in the hot, <laughs> because the hot sauce was just so good. Well, I mean, what can you expect? When you have somebody who's on the uh, the Times Union top uh, wing uh, winners year in, year out, and you end up at his house smoking great cigars, drinking great beer, eating good food, we live the high life today. 
I, I totally agree. I think I, I lucked out. I got that weird text from you, and I was like, man, these guys are like, you know. But somehow, you know, Dave saved the day for you. Yes. And I was like, you know what? Both you guys did. You know, I'm going to make sure we have great wings, you know, and I can say, you know, nothing against Doghouse, but those wings are fantastic. Yes. Uh, That's all Eric, by the way, you know. I did. I just cooked them. That's all I did. <laughs> so the recipe's for the his, sauces. All yeah. his sauce. Yeah, well. Next, I, I just saying. added. I just added the, the few extra ingredients for my touch. That was it. How often do I beg to have Eric on this podcast? I don't know. You know, he's. Uh, I don't know if the word is shy. He's just you know he's not that type of person that wants to be. You know, he has been on it. Now, if you think yeah, about it, we were for a brief it. second. We, yep, he was. You know, God you know. literally stopped his appearance. Yeah, shortly. maybe you know, maybe that was uh, meant to be. I don't know. Yeah. You know, maybe now that maybe we can maybe we can get him onto it. We'll see. Yeah. I can't guarantee anything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's not going to want to talk about wings, though. No, he doesn't have to. <laughs> right. well, well, he also has great taste in beer. That. See, a lot of people yes. don't realize yes. that. He, he likes a lot of good beer. Yeah, so he would be a great guy to have. He probably knows more than both of you and I put together. Probably. You know, he and Pete and, yep. and, and uh, Gaz have spent some time, you know, getting Just, getting quality beers from the Northeast. Yeah. You know, and, you know, they, they at least Gaz, for sure, you know, do, does their homework. Yeah. In terms of knowing what's out there, Eric's, Eric's good too. You know, he's dealing with the Serene guys, the Craft Beer Guild nice. guys. So he he does have his like hand on the a lot of the new stuff coming out. Cool. cool. You know, usually they they are talking to Eric. See, we gotta get him and Nuzzy together because Nuzzy's part of the uh, Craft Guild of New York. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the same organization, but um, well, uh, the Craft Beer Guild is one of like a distributor, like yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah, Fee but they're on a much smaller. Yeah, yeah, they, they specialize in, in yeah. bringing beers from. Other areas to us like Fiddlehead and yeah they 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 they, they, pro- they might even have a rule like you have to be under a certain amount of production yeah to to be in the craft beer, you know I don't know they have a new one a new brewery uh, it's called the Drowned Lands out of Hudson New York some of the best uh, IPAs sour IPAs that I've ever had in fact I don't even think sour IPA is a real category but Craft Beer Guild stocks or distributes them and they're a real true micro brewery still yeah. to the day. Uh, and that is some of the best beer that I've had in a long time. I haven't even heard of that one. So I'm, I'm yeah. hopefully, hopefully they're, you know, hopefully they're coming to Eric and mentioning that. You know, I want to say we just picked up uh, Focal Banger and uh, Heady oh, Topper. Nice. So we'll yeah. have we'll have both of those in house consistently this week. I don't know about how consistent it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, because well, they're so popular. Are you having by can or keg? It's going to be can. Awesome. You know, so we're picking Perfect. up both of them. As far as I know, it's can. Well, I mean, the, the artwork on those cans, some Pretty beers, crazy. you have to have cans instead of kegs. And those happen to be the, the, the beers. Because first of all, that's how everybody knows Hedy Top. Sure. The, is, yep. By the artwork, and you got to have it. You know, we'll see. You know, we'll, we'll see how they're doing. We had this discussion before on this show yeah. about how I felt that they dropped the ball to some extent. Yes. Yeah. In true. terms of production and yeah. making their product available. I mean, there's there's one thing to to make your product like desirable and hard to get. It's another thing to just to, to make that your like yeah. business mantra is like, you know, we're going to work we're going to make it impossible to get our beer. Yeah. That's not I don't think that's a good move in the long run. Yeah, and then there's but there's also guys out there that are like fightings that are trying to be more more uh which sure. are abundant, but they just they're they're constrained to their you know your, your production is yeah. limited. And, exactly. you know, they don't have that you know, and I understand that, but you know, in not in not in the alchemist defense, no, they've they had a lot of time. time to yeah, and they've a had a lot of time. And, yeah, they they could have easily you yeah. know upped it. Well, whatever we've we've talked about yes. that before. Well, and now you can get it. You can go to Twenty North well, Broadway and you can yep. get it. Hopefully, it's coming in this week. Yes, you know. What can we expect new on taps over at the doghouse? Oh, boy. Well, uh, we just kicked the Drowned Lands, which yeah. was, I was actually surprised about because it's the most ex- one of the most expensive beers I've ever put on. Yeah. Uh, and we cooked it faster than any other beer. Wow. Um, so what's coming up now or what's on right now is you have a great beer tree again. Awesome. Is uh, it more like that pancake one? No, it's a, uh, it's just a straight-up double IPA. Uh, we got an Equilibrium double IPA oh, nice. on. I'm a fan of theirs. Yep, we just put on a Great Lakes uh, crushable beer. Actually, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, it's a wheat, uh, but, you know. And then we got a little bit of a Lawson's new one, Little Sip. Okay. Which I haven't had yet, but I guess that's their um, 
single IPA version of their Double Sunshine or something. Oh yeah, I was going to say yeah, Silver Sunshine. Yeah, Silver Sunshine, Sunshine is a very popular beer. Yeah. We sell we sell that pretty regularly. It's great. I take a ticket on my dad's boat sailing. Yeah, that's a that is a that is a staple. Yeah, yeah. So for Little us. Sips the new their single IPA version of that. So All right, just coming out. It'll be in can uh, have it Friday, I think. It's so no Monday. Sorry, Monday. It'll be there Monday. All right, it comes from Serene. We got anything else to uh, cover? I have no idea. I just I haven't really thought too much about it. It's a short one. Like I said, we, we were, got a little uh, bit of rust. It's been a, we were, a month. Yeah, we maybe we got a little rust, and uh, the fact that you know this was kind of like a surprise. Like I wasn't sure what, how this was going to shake out. I like to keep you guys on your toes. Yeah, good yeah, job. you're, you're yeah. throwing the pitches. We're, we're, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, Ben hit a home run. I'm pretty sure maybe I hit a foul ball. Maybe. <laughs> no, no, not at all. This no. this is actually a no. memory. The, the, the wing saved us. I guess <laughs> save oh. save. S- saved it. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we 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 got it worked out. Absolutely. I, I honestly, this is a memory that you know. Who can brag to say they were sitting in in Dave's house, Dave's eating house, wings. eating wings in his garage, smoking, smoking cigars. cigars, looking at classic cars, looking at classic cars? I I think that uh, I, if it's okay with Dave, I'm going to brag about this. You should. Yeah, it's okay. You. I mean, I can, there's not really a lot to brag about, but okay. Trust me, everybody will be jealous. I will not give them directions to your house, though. No. Thank you. <laughs> we always call it the secret location. It is the pretty secret. secret. It, it's yeah. like a pretty scary, you know, you come bat cave. Yeah, you got to come down the, the private drive. Yeah. It definitely That's felt like I was in a 1989 Batman movie. Yeah. I I was not Batman. I was, I was uh, ooh, Female actress in that movie uh, that was passed out. Like, uh, what's going on? Yeah. Well, you, I was just watching uh, Batman Begins where they had uh, uh, Rachel passed out in the back of his car. Yeah. And they had the staff like looking at uh, Alfred putting her in the car. Wait, Rachel is who, who's Rachel? Rachel, I think it was his first girlfriend or something like that. In the, in You're the, not like like Rachel from Friends. No, Rachel was the name of the character. So it's uh, which that, one is Batman Begins? That's the one with uh, Catwoman, right? With, no, oh, no, Batman Cam- Begins. Wait, what's no, your not name? Batman. Uh, Dark Knight. Or oh man, no, it's Batman Begins. Some of the new Batman's. Yeah, one of the, the new, new series. I guess they're two thousand. Newish. New. Yeah, with uh, the girl from Dawson's Creek. <laughs> I could be wrong. She may not be from Dawson's no Creek. Idea. I've never seen it. I, yeah, right. James <laughs> Vanderbeek. That's what I know about Dawson's Creek. <laughs> I thought that was something he was Mox. Dream. He was Mox from Varsity Blues. <laughs> great, <laughs> that great oh, movie. Great movie. That was a good movie. Dude, fantastic movie. <laughs> Absolutely. Mo- where, Mox was that his name? Mox, yeah, the probably. But here's Come on, what, you never saw that. Here's what's got me cracking Junior? up. Junior, we were talking about um, the the commercials where you're being your your parents. Oh my god! And Dr. then we're, Rick. In the, we're in the car, Doctor Rick. Yes, we're in the car talking about, or not in the car, but we're in the garage talking about like how kids just you know aren't the oh, same. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Smoking cigars, drinking beer yep. in, the, in the garage. Who else, who else reads stories about submarines? And I just realized we describe movies like our parents too. You know that movie with that actress from that show. You know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, we definitely are. Yeah, I mean, Mom, there's no there's whatever. no stopping it. We need Doctor Rick here <laughs> yes, pronto. We do. I, I have too many pillows on my couch <laughs> yes. right now. <laughs> no, you I too. <laughs> Everybody turned to look. Yeah, we did. How many pillows? Yeah. Those are beautiful couches, by the way. Yeah, they are pretty sweet. Yeah. Selling wings has done pretty good. Yeah, this, whatever. <laughs> At least you can see the couch. There's, there's, no, there's no pillows. Yeah. That's true. Well, there are there are pillows. I count. I five. You got to have some. I think they came with the couch. <laughs> yeah, no, probably. they didn't. We actually bought oh, those really? many years afterwards. They just happened to match very well. My girlfriend the other day said, as she was on her phone, I was like, what are you doing? She's like, shopping for, uh, for throw pillows. I was like, isn't there a better use of your money? Throw pillows? Yeah, like you just throw them away. <laughs> exactly. That's what they're good for. Oh, man. She, then she got, a, she got one for Valentine's Day as a gift to me. It's a throw pillow that has her name, my name, and our first date, like the, the date of our first date. Wow. And the location. Very romantic. Which was the Ruck. Really? Yeah. Nice. Now, it? now it's down in it's in infamy. Oh, our second date was a, it was was twenty, but she lived in Troy. Well, I guess I'm second. I rate second. Well, That's if cool. it was my choice, we would have went there first. That's cool. But all our friends wanted to go to the ale house first, and then we went to the Ruck afterward. And then I immediately got pulled over by the cops. That's not good. See, that's, that's interesting. Fine. My and just this actually could be a topic of podcast. My first date with my wife was at Maxie's on Wolf Road. <laughs> Is it really JT absolutely. Maxie's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. What are we talking about? <laughs> what was your first date with Jen? Oof. It had to be the Bayou. Bayou. There yeah. you go. Uh, yeah. Was she working there? I don't know if either of us are working there at the time. No, we. I don't think. No, we weren't. I went to the hospital. I was doing construction. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what you want to call it. Yeah. I went to the hollow. <laughs> well, well, I use that term loosely. Have you been to to the hollow? Oh, sure. 
Yeah, right. absolutely. Do you know what that is? The old the old Bayou yeah, downtown. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were joking for a second. You're like, no, oh yeah, Mike. No, my friend Mike still owns it. Oh, does he really? Yeah. Oh he, yeah, yeah. He uh, he ended. He was working for the owner of the Bayou. When oh, he gave okay. It up. So he kind of just I don't know if he bought it. I don't know exactly the details, but yeah. he basically stayed there. Yeah. Chris Osborne, uh, who has a podcast locally called Stories from a Bar, did a did a podcast there. I listened to it on the way out to Chicago in, in September. It was pretty good, and we were driving around all be uh, trying to find a place because we were going to go hang out with a uh, with a uh, Jay over at uh, the oh Lake. yeah Jay yep again um, over with Jay Excelsior, Bowers, someone said yeah at the Excelsior, and um, he actually wasn't working that day, but uh, so we were just trying to we were going to do uh, trivia, and we were trying to find a place. I was like, let's go check out the Hollow, and we did. The food was good. that was a great bar. Yeah, great you beer. Know, you know, oh yeah, absolutely. beautiful inside. Absolutely, you know, I got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, yeah. even the people who had it before did, did it. You know, oh, did yeah. a great job of. It's funny because I was sitting there. I was like, "Yeah, this used to be here. The bathrooms. Oh yeah, the bathrooms are still over. It's still kind of like the same setup, but sure. just de- decorated differently. Just decorated differently. Yeah. Spent a lot of uh, drunken nights in that place. But have you ever been to? The, have you been to the Hollow? No, I've it never used been to be the Bayou. Hollow. It used to be the Bayou. I've been to the Bayou. I've never uh, been to the Hollow. Though. Yeah, not yet. I know they get a lot of really big acts, or they used to anyway. Well, I think once times. it's kind of slow right now, and they've been doing work. I think they're going to have acts in there again, right? I imagine so, but you know, yeah. I, I don't have, I don't really know. I don't have any inside information. And I think uh, didn't there's a rumor out there, or maybe not a rumor, maybe it's common knowledge, and I'm just out of the loop. But uh, uh, what's the name over at uh, uh, Upstate Concert Hall is oh, it started he's moved in, to Albany, yeah, yeah, and he's, he's the oh, yeah. Upstate's going to be there now. I did not hear that. Yeah, I was I was really disappointed to hear that because they're just down the road from me. Yeah. And I just, you know, kind of formed a relationship before COVID shut down. Uh, lucky enough, I, I guess uh, Noel Skaggs from uh, a group who I didn't know then, but I am a big fan of now. Um, oh, I just forgot the name. Eh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Yep, forgot it. What's the owner's name? He's this is giving me right now. Uh, I've worked there for so long. I, I worked in radio, and I, I did. I pretty much lived at Upstate Concert Hall. Um, but yeah, always a great staff. Uh, I don't see I don't see concerts being a thing again. Well, not like it was. Well, anytime rock soon. music isn't what it is, and then you well, know, when I mean, you go I to a hip hop show, it, it takes know, forever. Oh yeah, with just spacing stuff and yeah. you know that you know that's going to be one of the I hate to say one of the last things that goes back to what we think was normal. You yeah. know, I hate to say it. Well, you know, I, and I give anybody credit who's trying to do it, but you know the. I mean, you think about it. What is a show? Yeah. It's you and a bunch of people, people you don't standing know really close, yeah. standing really close together and bumping yeah. in each other and, yeah. and moving around and touching other. You know, I mean, yeah. like, I you know, if you had to look at it and you were a doctor trying to prevent COVID, it's yeah. their worst nightmare. Yeah, like it literally is. It is. Talk you think about, about the better. end of the show, everybody's you know near packing down, packing in to, to see to get right to the stage, and then when you're leaving. You know what it's like when you go like it's back over the uh, the bridge. Yeah, that bottleneck. Yeah, dude, it's just a solid mass of yeah, people. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm not know. trying. I'm not trying to be no, pessimistic no, be to anybody no. who wants to do bands. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's unfortunate because I enjoy fe- bands and festival like festivals. Yeah. I mean, like, so do you think it'll ever get back to normal? I would like to think so. You know, based on the fact that our our country's memory is very short. Yes. They forget you know, how good for, you know, live you, music is. You know, you just, you know, like the next thing you know, two years from now, people won't even remember what, oh my God, I had to wear a mask? That was crazy. Yeah. I <laughs> you hope. know, so we'll see. I hope. We'll see. I seen, you know how like, you have the sandwich boards outside and you put these like little woody things on there and somebody said, uh, I can't wait to have unprotected air again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, like I said, but I, I think shows, I hate to say it would be shows and movies. Or like the last thing, because you just say that you're basically grouped together with a bunch of strangers. Yeah. Just raw dog in air. Yeah, you know, sucking in COVID air. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't know what to say, you know. <laughs> Dr. Fauci would be having an aneurysm if he so if he... <laughs> Yeah, well, here's the deal. I There's only one more concert I can... I've that's gone his to... Name? Is that, that's his name? It's Fauci. Fauci, I yeah. say it. I just threw it out there. I, yeah. I don't well, even they, know who he is, really. I think they got to be a I just see his like, name everywhere. Arena style, where you have, like, reserved seats or something. Yeah. Open air. You know, like, if they could do it for the Super Bowl, like, yeah, exactly. theoretically, they could, could do, do it, it that way. It. But is it fun? You know, it's sort of like... Yeah, yeah like, imagine this. You know. Well, here, you're going to go to a show, and you got this little square... Here's your hula hoop. At the show. In it. Yeah. 
that's where you have to be Rock the out. whole time. Yeah. And you can't go in other people's squares. Nope. Like, yeah. dude, that's square. Yeah. Like, that's, I mean, just, yeah. you know, you're going you're gonna to have, like, the space police. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that your square? Are you in the right square? Wait a minute. You got to go over there. Yeah. Like, you know, you just, you know, that's. I've got one more show I got to go to. antithetical, in my opinion, to what you want to do at a show. I have tickets. Like, too. how many times have you been to a show when you're just standing around and some joint just comes rolling down? Yeah. And you're like, you look around, you're like, all right, you have no f- <laughs> idea whose yeah, what, joint it was or where it's from how or whatever. It's covered. Dude, you know, you know yeah. you've had like 10 beers. You're like, yep, no problem. Yeah. You just start whacking on it, and then you're like, when you're done, you look to your right, you're some stranger, you just hand it to him. Fire kills the AIDS. Right. I was, you know, like I'm saying, like, that's what, that's the, that's crazy stuff that yeah. happened at the show, you know. Off it goes, and like, you're like, no, you don't even think twice about it. I have well, now, you know, Jesus, that one joint just spread COVID to like 40 people. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> we get put in jail for that. Yeah, I mean, you that's, know. yeah. So I got, I got tickets to go see Rage Against the Machine and Run the Jewels in Toronto. I had it for last summer, but they pushed it off to next summer, uh, the summer coming up. And as long as I can get in there, and now that I have to, uh, you know, if whatever it takes. If I have to, if I have to get the COVID uh, uh, injections, then I'll do that. You know. Wait, they're going to inject COVID into you? Yeah, that's, why not? that's the cure? Yeah. <laughs> He's already been sick. He's fine. <laughs> Super spreader. Right. Then, then you just kill everybody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was, there was, isn't there a movie where they injected somebody with I'm some sure kind of contagion? I'm sure there's tons of those movies. Yeah, as, a, as a terrorist attack. So, yeah, it's something I'm like sure. that. I'm sure. All right. Well, <laughs> with that being said, we've talked about raw dogging air. We've talked about... COVID injections. We've talked about how AIDS uh, dies in a joint because it's on fire. I don't know about AIDS. COVID, maybe, <laughs> I'm talking about. Yeah. It that, gets stuck too. on the resin. Yeah. It gets stuck. And it, <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't roll up the resin and smoke that after, you'll be fine. That's not how it works. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. That's not, that's, that's not a proper term. <laughs> I meant like the tarry ball roll. Right. Oh, ball. yes. Right. After you sc- scrape it out of your. Yes. I don't know. It's been, a, it's been a very long. T- I mean, I've never smoked weed, but if I did, it was a long time ago. If I was, it was to probably that spec. It, that, I didn't it was probably do that it. joint that I hit. <laughs> yes, it was probably the it same just came one. Down the hill. Right, it was probably the same fucking one. <laughs> do you remember when they used to throw marshmallows at spec? No, they used to not back really. The day. I was a little kid, but then they started lighting them on fire and then throwing them, and so they were no longer to throw, no longer allowed to throw marshmallows. You remember you just tea? Everybody ruins court. everything. Yeah, <laughs> man, you can't bring marshmallows into spec. Nope, it used to be a thing. Damn. All right. Anybody used to be else? able to bring drinks in. I think yes. I want to say. You used to be able to bring coolers yeah, of drinks in. For certain shows. And, I don't know for all shows, but for all. certain shows you could do it. You could yeah. bring it in. All right. Yeah, that's it. We covered it. Let's put a bow on this one. All right. It's a nice 45-minute podcast. I like it. Ben, thank you so much for bailing me out. Dave, thank you so much for bailing me out of trouble. I, didn't, I didn't do anything. Well... I hear a bottle of Jameson calling us. Oh, <laughs> yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's right. Yes. All right. So uh, after this, you and I will talk about what the next podcast is. By the way, I love your shirt. Um, we will... Uh, we I got will, it from Scooter. Re, 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 Scooter? I haven't seen Scooter in a while. Yep. And uh, Bob, I just said your name so for a little shout-out so you're not even listening. That's yeah. it. All right. Shout-out to <laughs> you. You have anybody Listen to the end. No, no, I, no. How'd your kid's soccer game go? Oh, she won. Oh, that was exciting. Yeah. She... Uh, they were going up against the there's, there's not a lot of people playing sports right now yeah because you have to do it with the mask and you, you, you know yeah I don't know how you play soccer it's like trying to play soccer with a sock in your mouth yeah apparently yeah. Uh, actually I don't know how little kids is. can handle it yeah, yeah. they're tough but they, they breathe uh, through their eyeballs they yeah. beat the, uh, the their eyelids actually so the, the <laughs> Pull their reference. under 12 beat the 13 year old they did a little scrimmage between the 13 year olds because so the 13 so you know the 12 year olds beat the 13 year olds nice right? yeah you got a little, it's be a little superstar. School. Yeah, yeah, it's a win. Yeah, watch out soon. She's going to be on, you know, I don't know, some sort of soccer thing. Yeah, U.S. Uh, team. soccer team. Yeah, yeah, females. All oh, they're doing great. Yeah, yeah. they have always had a pretty like, good team. They're like the best team in God, soccer in the United States anyway. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't know either. Because, well, I don't. I was about to 
kind of guess, but I mean, if you think about it, for, for, for women's sports, there's not a lot of sports out there for girls. Guys can go play baseball, they can play football, they can play hockey, they can play, I mean, they got field hockey, you've got soccer, you've got, you know, there are basketball, there's a plenty of sports sure. for girls. Softball. But there's just so many different directions that guys can go into. And then girls Figure also skating. have a different mindset than, than guys. So I think, you know, here in the U.S., for how important soccer is as far as sports go, it's a, it's a good one for yeah, no, it's, it's been great. It's been yeah. really exciting. I played soccer all my life. I probably retired maybe 10 years ago. And you did too, no? More than 10 years ago. <laughs> but you played. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, because you said Center City. I was, I was like, all right. Yeah, we were with you. Afrom, the same place where your yeah. daughter was playing. He I, hated us big time. Oh, no. no. He despised us. We were, what were we? We were mostly a few years out of college. And we got a team together, all, all of us that played in high school. And Afram had mostly kids that were either in college or in high school. Yeah. And here we were, especially my, me, a bunch of out of shape. Yep. I mean, dude, I'm not going to name names, but guys, they were, they were smoking cigarettes before the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like halftime. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, like, we were out of shape. Yeah. And we ended up winning, like, two seasons, like, back yeah. to back. Yeah. Same and this guy hated us so much. He would actually go out there and play with the other teams. To try to. To try to beat us. Yeah. So we, we could be, you know, so we wouldn't be winners of, like, the league. Yeah. And he hated us. Because we, I mean, like, there was a couple players on our team that were really good, you know. Yeah. I'm not, I was not one of them. And I was really out of shape. And I was a perfect example of why he was so mad yeah. to lose against us. Yeah. Because we never played. We played once a week. Yeah. Most times we would do stuff before and after games that weren't really great for yeah. athletics. Drinking, smoking, all that stuff. And he would just get bent out of shape because his, you know, in shape little, you know, high school and college players were getting manhandled yeah. around the around the field and, and they were losing. And it was very frustrating for him and them to basically lose to a bunch of old out of shape guys. Yeah. Now I don't and, uh, he, he he had a real hard time swallowing that pill. When you played, did they have the the four divisions? A, B, oh. C and D? In at Afram's? Yeah. Oh my! No, he was just starting. Like it was, he had. So they eventually he was just because he of you was guys. just starting. Yeah. So there was one one league. It's all That's he it. had. Yeah. He didn't have three, you know, buildings. Yeah. He just had Center City. There was one league we played like on Wednesdays. Yeah. That was it. There was probably like six teams. Yeah. Same thing. We so when I when I stopped playing, there was four divisions. Uh, you had A, B, C, and D. I think you start off at D, and if you win, if you come in like the top three, you get moved up the next season. Sure. So what we would do is Just we like would, Premier League. Yeah. So what we do is we would do we would do a, C, uh, a session on, take the next session off, do the next session. So we would win one, and when we we're supposed to go up to the next division, we'd take it off. So then we come back the next time as a D. And then we also, we used to destroy. I think every time you went up by ten points, and there's only five guys on the field because it's it's, yeah. it's indoor, so there's only five. So uh, what he would do is uh, every time you went up by ten points above the other team, you had to kick one of your players off the field, so you drop down to four. There was games we were playing with only three guys and still destroying people. That's really sad. <laughs> yes, I still have my Afrin shirt somewhere, my champion. Shirt. Oh, I do. I have two yeah. of them. Yeah, I kept them on purpose because yeah. I was so proud because yeah. he was so mad. I I probably would have fucking used them as rags <laughs> at this point, but because he was so fucking mad, yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna take this and I'd be super proud of it, and I'm gonna hold on to it. And I'm you like, get it framed and put it in your box. Dude, the problem is it's like probably like a large. Or, it's like a large. Don't and like, I'm it. like Just a double <laughs> XL. I'd, 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 I'd do like the Hulk. I have the same problem. Except the Fat Hulk. Where my where my where my soccer ball like lines were all started to tear so that it's still yeah. holding together but yeah, it's like right at the edge holes. yeah 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 I, I I took really good care of mine because like I said I was very very proud of pissing I think I him mine off away. I, I I don't think I would have taken such pride in yeah. winning it if he hadn't been such so, a yeah. a person about it yeah <laughs> bad word about it well either way I used to enjoy it you know that I hate to say if he's listening to this I'm I'm actually probably glad. <laughs> do, you, do, you want me, do you want me to tag him? No, do not. Because I, I want to say one of my buddies, who what, what, what didn't play with me because he was he was younger, but his son plays and he's coaching, and he I want to say we were talking about it not not long ago because I'm like oh did you ever see Afrim? He's like oh yeah. He goes I gave him a hard time the other day. He's like did he remember you? He go yeah. I mentioned something about when we played and he didn't forget his he had he had to see the look on his face, Dave. He said. He goes, he knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> I go, that makes me feel really good. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to come back here and, and see the, the soccer jersey hanging. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We got to hang it up in the bar. 
No, I don't think so. I mean, I think I'm, not, I'm not sure it would compare well with a Jack Lambert Hall of Fame yeah, jersey to an Aframs loser out of shape. <laughs> well, if you sign it. Like, you know, barely a soccer player guy. You know, you could do it. You could put up for one of those uh, celebrity uh, auctions. Auctions, yeah. And you know, Aframs needs to raise money sometimes, and I think it would go pretty well if you get your crew there. And Maybe I could get them all to sign it. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. Yeah, I think so. I like it. All right, let's wrap this one up. Yeah, yeah, we're done. We're going to end it with the Aframs thing. <laughs> we'll, we'll end it on a high note. You're on my high note. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we were awesome. I don't know about awesome, but we won. And he didn't like it. We won dis- despite your best efforts to keep us down. He did. I mean, he made he went to great lengths. He would go out there and play for other teams. Yeah. We would just trash him. He yeah. didn't like it. Yeah. So did you, did you have the same rule, the ten the ten goal rule, or if you had no, every time I don't no. remember that. I mean, I don't think we were ever up by ten. Oh, you know, okay. we weren't that good. Yeah. You know, remember these kids were running circles around us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, these these kids were actually in shape. Actually, the last time I punched a high no, school I, in the face was at an from not on purpose. Oh. I was, uh, I you know, I had the ball and I'm doing this little spin thing around him. Your arm came up. Yeah, yeah, just turned around, kind of blinded, and just got the kid right in the mouth. And he was like this, like you know, junior in high school. And I turned around and I'm like, "Oh, bro, I'm so sorry." My whole team's like, eh, "He's playing the game; he can handle him." Like, this is high school, this like you know, sixteen <laughs> yeah, year old kid, I just punched him in his mouth. I'm a grown ass man, 28 years old, and this was. <laughs> That long ago. Yeah, I was almost that old. Yeah. Hmm. Probably to be at least six or seven years out of high school. Yeah. Sm- smelling like cigarettes from the parking lot before I went yeah. in. Bong hits. Yeah. And then we just go to the bar afterward and just drink. We, we, we lived at 20 North. That was the best part. Yeah. And Center City was That's right there. Awesome. So everybody yeah, would come over. over. Yeah. Everybody would come over. I was living there. Yeah. Everybody would come over. We'd, you know, do our thing before and walk right over. <laughs> That's awesome. That was pretty awesome. Those were the days. We can't do that. I would die of a heart attack. Oh, my God. I couldn't even run one, <laughs> once up and down the field. I'd be on the ground. Not even, that's not an exaggeration. I'd probably weigh 60 more pounds than I did then. I'd break my ankle just trying to do something. At least 50 more pounds. Then. I bet you guys still do a rainbow kick. Yeah, maybe. Let's not try it. Okay. <laughs> All right. With well, that excellent advice, we're going to end this one. Ben, thank you so much for coming along yeah, or being here today. Dave, smoke. thank Welcome. you so much for all the food. Thanks for the beer. Yeah, Welcome. yeah, no problem. All right, guys, Till next Jen, time. Jen, for letting us be here. Yes, Jen. Oh, thank, thank you, Jen. You. Thank, thank you. Jen. Thank you, Jen.